This is the Excellent Sports Adventure. Would this be a first round playoff preview? Would the least be able to make a statement against the rival Panthers? And would Austin Matthews hit 70 goals on this night? Well, the answer is nope, nope, and nope. The Buds couldn't hold a 2 0 lead. Sam Reinhardt had a couple. The Cats owned the Buds in the second period with four goals on 29 shots as Florida rolls 5 to 2. And in a strange turn of events, Jacob Chikrin scores for the Senators. That would be the winner. Sen stunned the Bruins 3 1. So Florida takes the division title. The Leafs get Boston in round one. Thatcher, Depko, and the Canucks trying to sew up the Pacific division title. Teddy Booger. Springs Tyler Myers, shorthanded Myers with a, some sippity doo da day on that shot. Ilya Mikheyev over to Elias Pedersen in front for Nils Hoaglander. Debko, 39 saves. Knox roll 4-1 to clinch. Top spot. Honestly, I'm just happy we won the Pacific Division. I mean, the guys did a hell of a job all year. I mean, obviously, let's face it, nobody really picked us to win the division. I think So you got to give the, the players a lot of credit. The game wasn't a Picasso, obviously, but um, you got to take the positive. You know, we won the Pacific tonight, so I'm um, really happy for the guys. I feel like it's a, it's a, it's a big honor, and uh, the guys should enjoy it. And the Jets will get the whole nice edge in round one. Power play, Nikolai Ehlers with the shot. Tyler DeFoley is there to clean up his 33rd. Jets top Seattle 4-3. Another Canada-U.S. final at the Women's World Hockey Championships. The Canadian side fell behind a couple times. But Marie Philippe Poulin carries in. What a shot. Top cheddar. The captain had a pair. They went overtime. Canadian power play. Aaron Ambrose lets it go. Danielle Serdakti cleans up. Canada wins 6-5 to capture the gold medal for the 13th time. Well, the season came to a merciful end for the Raptors, who dropped their final four games to close the season at 25 and 57. Daniel Quickly, Grady Dick, R.J. Barrett, They got some pieces now that showed some promise. Now they'll hope to get lucky in the draft lottery. They get some good picks, stay healthy. Who knows? They might surprise some folks next season. Here's the coach. When you work with young players, you got to understand that those moments are going to happen. You know, and all of that is is a part of uh, learning for them. It's uh, it was very valuable for us to see those guys on the court and to see all the strengths and all the limitations uh, that they have, so we can address it during the summer. So we can really work on that to improve. Is that uh, defensive slides? Is that uh, speed hover closing out to the three point line? Is that boxing out? Is that uh, playing uh, stronger with the ball? You know, all of us we can witness that that uh, there. Is is uh, less foul calls being called after all-star break. So there has to be some adjustment there in a skill work, how to play through contact more. So I I think uh, that this whole journey, this whole year, with all the obstacles that we we had, also presented us a lot of answers and uh, gave us a lot of uh, of, uh, stuff to think about when we build the, the team in the future. Okay, 77th anniversary of Jackie Robinson breaking baseball color barrier. Jays facing the first place Yankees. Luis Heel deals way outside, gets away from the catcher. Alejandro Kirk scoots in with a go-ahead run. Chris Bassett allowed four hits over six in the third. Jays over the Barbers, 3-1. They took two straight for the Yanks. CF Montreal, home to Cincinnati and MLS. Joseph Martinez gets it ahead for Ariel Lassiter, who pads it into the back of the net. That's the winner, 2-1 Montreal. They improved to 3-1-3. and three. Toronto and Vancouver both lost. Toronto Rock, home to Rochester, looking to soap the NLL's number one seed. Challenge Rogers, great, be, great look for Chris Bushy, who had four. The Rock blow it open in the second quarter. Tom Schreiber to Rogers behind the back for Corey Small. The Rock. Hammer the Hawks 13-6. Vancouver Warriors stay alive. Ryan Martell with his first four goals. He had a nine-point night. Warriors whacked the riptide 16-10. Saskatchewan Rush home to San Diego. Rush on the rush. Zach Mans will bury one from long range. Mans scored five times. Rush spanked the Seals 13-8. They're still in it. Melinda Watpool has improved to 6-0. But the whip had to work for it as part of the United Promotions headliner at Pickering Casino. The Toronto fighter pounded out a unanimous decision over Adriana Araujo of Brazil, an Olympic bronze medalist, tough customer, that Buntsma 
also won his fight. Now it's time for our shot of the week. Dialed in on number 12 at El Tigre. God damn it. Four! The Shot of the Week is brought to you by Sleepy Hollow Country Club, 60 years of tradition, providing a challenging and enjoyable golf experience just minutes from Toronto. 